Okay, Len, who's the lower priced option you're going to be chasing this week? Yeah, there are a few a few guys. We, well, we have 134 guys in the field. At least 65 in ties make the cut. So probably more than half of the field will make the cut. Uh, a lot of these low sevens and sixes are going to get in. Um, Ian Poulter, $7,600. He's made the cut seven years in a row, top 15, four years in a row. And keep in mind, last year, the field, while it's a good field this year, last year, it was absolutely loaded. Second tournament back after the restart, he still had a top 15. JT Poston, a Carolina guy, North Carolina, not South Carolina. He uh, has finished top 10 in both his visits the last two years, including last year. So yeah, he is 7,100. Matthew Neesmith, $6,900, number one guy in greens and regulation. This is the toughest greens and regulation course all year. If he's not going to be there this week, uh, he never will be. A couple other guys quickly, 6,700, Chase Seifert. If the tournament reverts to very tight track, he was third recently at the Honda. He's 6,700. He's made six of his last seven cuts. And if you were down to just a few dollars left and you've got to fill out your $50,000 salary cap, maybe your first thought isn't, let me find a 44-year-old guy who's ranked 369th in the world. But that's who Jason Duffner is. And Jason Duffner has made the cut here Eight of the last nine years, he can still play at this track. I don't think he can contend, but he could certainly make the cut, and he's made the cut recently at Bay Hill in Honda, um, $6,300. Jason Duffner can very well make it to the weekend.